everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Brighton scarf, which you can see here in front of you in the photo. I also have my sample one here to show you. Now this Brighton scarf is the third scarf pattern in the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along for 2022. So if you check out here on my channel, you will find the matching beanie pattern to go along with it. So this is the Brighton scarf. It's a fairly easy scarf to work made with a solid interlocking shell stitch and an easy edging on each of the short ends. The free pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and there's a direct link for you in the video, uh, in the description of the video. For the pattern today, you're going to need about 500 yards uh, of a worsted weight yarn. I'm using the Two of Wands Color Theory yarn on linebrand.com. This is a worsted weight. It is slightly lighter though for a worsted weight yarn. So I'm pairing it with a 4.5 or a G7 uh, millimeter crochet hook. Again, there's links to these items in the description. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around find that matching beanie pattern, check out some of the other free patterns that are here. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Now our Brighton scarf today is worked in rows and we are working our shorter ends uh, from each of the shorter ends. So what we're going to do is start by making a slip knot and then by making a foundation chain your foundation chain will need to be 32 chains and that's going to give you a scarf that's approximately 6 by 56 inches uh, laid flat. If you would like to change the size of your scarf, you're going to need a multiple of 6 stitches plus 2. So today I'm going to chain 32. There's 30 and 32. Once you have your 32 stitches worked, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. For row two, double crochet into the next stitch. So we're not working into the stitch at the base of your turning chain, but into the next stitch, work one double crochet stitch, and then double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to work a half double crochet into our first stitch. The chain one does not count as a stitch. Followed by a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. To work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook from the back around the front, out through the back again, around the post of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two more. That's your back post double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Front post, double crochet around the post of the next stitch and back post, double crochet around the post of the next stitch. All the way across until you have one stitch 
remaining. When you come across to your final stitch of row three, which is your turning chain, you're going to simply work one half double crochet into the third chain or into the top chain of that turning chain. Chain one and turn your work. For row four, we're going to begin with a half double crochet into the first stitch followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across until you have one stitch remaining. When you come all the way across, we're going to work a half double crochet into our final stitch, chain one and turn your work. Now for the next two rows, rows five and six, we're going to repeat our rows three and four. So half double crochet in that first stitch, row three begin with the front post double crochet followed by the back post double crochet. So repeat that row one more time and then you repeat your row four one more time which was your half double crochet and then a back post double crochet in the first or the next stitch to begin. Uh, and once you have repeated rows three and four one more time you'll be at the end of row six and you can meet me back here. At the end of row six, this is what your work is going to look like from the beginning. For row seven, we're going to begin working some of our interlocking shell stitch patterns. So what we're going to do is chain one and turn your work, single crochet into the first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and then work five double crochet stitches all into the same stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, and five double crochet all into the same stitch. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. We're going to repeat that all the way across, skip the next two stitches, work five double crochets into the next stitch, skip the next two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch all the way across to the end. At the end of that row seven, you're finishing with a single crochet into the final stitch. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. For row eight, we're going to work a double crochet two together over the next two stitches. When combined with this chain three, it's going to be a double crochet three together. So it's going to be included in our stitch. To work the double crochet two together, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. I'm going to repeat that, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're then going to chain two. Next work a double crochet or next single crochet sorry into your next stitch. So into that next double crochet work one single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain two and you're now going to work a double crochet five together over the next five stitches. So to work the double crochet five together, 
we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You're going to repeat that four more times over the next four stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. There's two. Your third one is into that single crochet. Four into the next double crochet and five into the next double crochet. You're going to have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all six loops. That's your double crochet five together. Chain two, single crochet into the next stitch. We're going to repeat now all the way across. Chain two, double crochet five together over the next five stitches. chain two and single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across until you have three stitches remaining. When you come across you have three stitches remaining. You're going to, after working your single crochet, chain two and finish off with a double crochet three together over these final three stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Do that twice more over the next two stitches. Once you have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. That brings you to the end of your row eight. You're then going to chain one and turn. We're now going to repeat rows seven and eight. So your seven began with a single crochet into the top of your first stitch. And then you're going to skip the chain two space and into the single crochet, work five double crochet stitches. Five double crochet stitches. Skip the next two stitches, which is your chain two and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet five together. So you're going to repeat that all the way across, ending with your single crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat your row eight and you're going to repeat those two rows until it measures approximately 54 inches from the start of your work and then meet me back here. Now I've just worked a few more rows here. I obviously have not worked the four 54 inches, but I wanted to show you how to work the final edging on the other end of your scarf. You will have worked 54 inches. Once you work that 54 inches, you do want to end off on a row seven. So on a row with your uh, five double crochets um, just to make it easier here to finish off the final row. So once you work your 54 inches, you've ended on a row seven, you're going to chain three and turn your work. You're then going to, for the next row, work a double crochet into the next stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your double crochet row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now, just as you did down below for the first edging, we're going to work a half double crochet into our first stitch, followed by a front post double crochet around the post of the next. Back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across, front post, double crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next. Continue all the way across until you have one stitch, which will be your starting chain three, until you have that stitch remaining. 
At the end of your row, you're going to work a half double crochet into the top of that turning chain. Chain one and turn your work. For your next row, half double crochet into that first stitch. Then back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. And back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across until you have one stitch remaining. At the end of your row, work a half double crochet into the top of your final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For the next two rows, you're going to work two more rows of front and back post double crochet stitches. So starting with your front post double crochet uh, in the next stitch, followed by your back post double crochet, and then uh, repeat once more with a half double crochet but then a back post followed by a front post double crochet. So you're going to re work two more rows of front and back post double crochet stitches and then meet me here. Once you have worked two more rows of front and back post double crochet stitches you have one row remaining in your Brighton scarf. You're going to chain one and turn your work. For your final row, simply single crochet into that first stitch, the chain one does not count as a stitch, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across, fasten off, weave in your ends, and your Brighton scarf is complete. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make the Brighton scarf. Be sure to check out the matching crochet beanie pattern and I look forward to seeing your finished makes. Be sure to tag me on social media. So until next time, happy crocheting and I'll see you again. Bye. Mm -hmm.